We've improved the whole qualification and we've revamped the specification. We've shortened the overall assessment time and we've introduced the first fully on-screen assessment in our Paper 2 solution. We've taken really bold and clear decisions which have made this qualification a really good choice for your students. The assessment is based on two papers. Let's take it paper by paper. We've streamlined the specification content and reorganised it. Now paper one is topics one to five. We have a getting started guide which is great for teachers who want more details about each aspect of the specification. We reduce the number of command words to 11 and there is a mark range for each. We've simplified the language used in the question paper as well. We've stopped asking questions that span topics. Now, one question per topic and always five questions. By choosing one programming language only, which was Python, we've re reduced the reliance on the pseudocode in this assessment. Pseudocode is now treated more sensibly and as it's intended to be, and we don't need to teach it as if it were another language with syntax. I'd urge you to have a look at the SAM and let us know what you think. Here we've been really brave. We're using one single programming language and this means that all students are going to be fairly treated. The assessment will always be reliable and robust, session to session. We're using an on-screen assessment. Now, this gives students a real flavour for problem solving and they're using the tools that they've learnt with. You use your own familiar computers and your own familiar IDE to solve the problems. In paper two, the students design solutions amend, write and debug code. They will do the things that they enjoy doing in computer science. The way the assessment is designed will be reliable and familiar. We have put together a, a sample assessment material plus two additional specimen papers which will be available well in advance of our first assessment in 2022. We're also going to publish a bank of exam-like exercises that will also be available uh, long before 2022 and will enable you to practice uh, with your students so that they can build up their confidence and familiarity with the type of assessment that it is. All the assessment material will be digital and will be sent for marking using a digital learner work transfer tool. So you don't have to get involved with memory sticks or CD-ROMs. Paper 1 and Paper 2 are different and better. We're really excited about this bold new approach and we hope that you will be too. We've been brave in introducing the on-screen assessment. We've had the interests of the students in our mind from the start. We feel that it will prepare students to progress to further learning in computer science or any technical field. We're going to do a very good job of resourcing this qualification. We have all the standard free things such as Exam Wizard for creating bespoke question papers for, question for paper one, Results Plus for analysing the results question by question, access to scripts again for paper one, commitment to extra sample assessment materials, especially for paper two to help it become more familiar and to give students and teachers practice and mocks. We're going to have a scheme of work with lesson plans, activities and activity solutions. We're also going to provide an interactive scheme of work which is an interesting tool that taps into the scheme of work resources and enables you to plan your own delivery. We're going to have additional paper to practice question bank as well. And of course, access to your own subject advisors, yours truly, to answer any questions you have and support you all the way. In addition to the free stuff, of course, we will be publishing a textbook and revision guides later on and hopefully before the September the 20 launch of the first teaching for this qualification.